Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. Do you ever find it hard to read some small text on a website? Or perhaps at the end of the day your eyes get a little fatigued and you want to look at some text without straining? Well, here's three easy ways to view text easier on this episode of MacMost Now. So the first method is built into the Safari browser. You simply choose View and then you can choose Make Text Bigger or Make Text Smaller. Or you can do Command and Plus and Command and Minus. You can see how it works here. It just enlarges all the text on the screen. It may break some sites that don't have good CSS so be careful when using it. And going back you can just reduce the size again or hit Command Zero to just bring it to the default size for that website. The second method involves using something built into Mac OS X. If you go to the System Preferences and choose the Keyboard and Mouse Preferences under Keyboard Shortcuts you'll find Universal Access Settings. Go to the Turn Zoom On or Off which the shortcut key is Option Command 8. Then you can use Option Command Minus or Option Command Plus to enlarge or shrink the area you see on the screen. You can also hold the Control key and use the scrolling wheel on your mouse or two fingers on your trackpad to do it and you will do it very smoothly as you can see here. And then the great thing about it is that then the screen follows your cursor around. So if you decide to move your cursor around it kind of stays in the middle and you can do any part of the screen you want. It's actually very natural once you get used to it. and It's very easy to forget that you even have it turned on and just see your screen very clearly and uh, zoom in on things. Uh, even if you're not having eye strain issues this is a really good way to Take a quick look at something you need to zoom in on, like maybe some artwork or a particular piece of text that you're editing at the moment. Another method doesn't use anything visual at all. It uses audio. You can select a piece of text that you're interested in but maybe having a hard time reading. And then you can go over to the Safari menu and look for Services. Under that you can look for Speech and Start Speaking Text. Then it will read it to you iTunes seems set to exceed music sales of Walmart this year. Apple is currently the second largest U.S. music retailer after Walmart, but seems set to overtake the competing retailer for the top spot this year. This is actually available in most standard OS X programs. You don't need to have a visual disability to use any of these. I know people, myself included, that sometimes just find it easier to sit back, maybe have a news story read to you, or maybe be able to focus on a certain part of the screen real easily. They're all very useful tools. So check them out. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.